everybody welcome i've got a little overview for the bevel magic 3.0 once you've got that downloaded go ahead and install it under add-ons and enable it and immediately you'll see that you have an end panel option and then you have some presets over here that are tied to the modifier workspace so i grab an object and click add bevel i'm going to get a bunch of stuff here First thing you can do is shade auto smooth. It's going to just automatically do all that for you. You could change the angle if you wish. Then you'll notice you have an amount. You also have a shape, which has not come into play yet. You have loop slide and mark sharp edges. You have clamp overlap, custom, super ellipse, vertices, and edges. You have an angle, uh, excuse me, limit method here. And then you have the active object and the active vertex group. Now here's the cool part. Once you added the bevel, you can just add a preset. And you're basically done. You've got a perfect bevel on your, on your mesh. Then you can increase the levels 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And go up from there. Now I did change the shape here. That's why that's different. So now that I've actually got one of the presets on here, I could change the shape and add some really cool setups. Uh, I could change the amount and do a bunch of different things. Now what you'll notice is that under here, under geometry and then shading, clamp overlap is turned off so you can see immediately if you have shading errors. So you don't want that on. Loop slide is turned off but you can still turn it on very easily in both spots. Hard and normals is defaulted to on. And then your default miter outer is sharp, but for some things where you create bullions and different things, you're going to need to switch to arc. And you can do that real quick up here between sharp, arc, and patch. Now we'll go to another object, add a bevel. And all I can do is add the edge bevel weight preset to this. And once I do that, I can jump into edge select, grab an edge, and mark that edge. Down here, you get a little slider. It'll tell you if you're at full one. It's kind of like working with uh, weight maps. You know, a little blue line that's there. It's kind of hard to see. Let me bring this in. You can see a little blue line there. And that is telling you that your edge has been given edge bevel weight. You can go back into object mode. Didn't enable auto smooth, so you got a warning here. Just click shade auto smooth, and then that'll disappear. Now that you've done that, it's very quick. All you have to do is go ahead and start uh, beveling that out. Comes with eight segments, so it stays smooth. If you want, you can raise that. Something like uh, 34, which is be just fine. And that's pretty cool. And you can change the shape here as well and create custom profiles. And also if you want to snap this into a profile, you can just click profile, drop down profile, and then good idea to change your shape back. You know, you can bring it all the way back to one, change the amount, do whatever you want with it. And then underneath the uh, profile section here, on custom, you can switch it here as well. You cr create little uh, custom profiles with curves, which is pretty neat. And if you want to change it back and get a regular bevel, just click on super ellipse and then anything one through six, and you've completely reset everything. And now you're back to a standard edge that if you were to bring up something like the carver tool, and cut in a bullion, you end up with these uh, nice bullion cuts here. And this would be an instance where you could switch to arc. So if you see the little shading error here, you can quickly fix it. You don't have to go back into the modifier. And for all intents and purposes, you could almost disappear the whole thing, but you do have access here so it's not cluttered up for the add bevel and everything else. You don't have to go in here. It saves a ton of time. You don't have to go down to vertex groups anymore and create them. You stay here in the modifier panel. 
and you can just click to edge vertex group just type in new edge whatever you want to do and I'll go ahead into edge and you can see this is all edge bevel weight I'm gonna come over here to this one and I can either delete or just reset the bevel and the first setting is the lowest intensity and then highest up and you can see the segments and everything will uh, increase as you go up but then level six just has 10 there's a reason for that I mean, you customize it so if I grab one of these edges I click new group you can see this group is active here because I switched objects so I don't have a group on that one so this would be the new edge and once I've got that I can select vertex group it's automatically going to select everything just grab the new edge right here with that edge selected go ahead and assign it that way it will do everything you want it to do then jump back in edge and you can see where this um, I kind of lowered the segments let me just click vertex again and I also was messing around with the shape there we go you can fix all of that that's what all these controls are for so you can't really lose what you're doing you can't mess it up really because you've got everything right here just makes it very easy to make some very customizable edges all right here we go to switch to vertices and grab the amount and you can see about where you can get it you can always do some cleanup some vertex cleanup if you wanted to and you do have 30 segments standard so if you want to hold down shift and bring that down you could but 30 is right where something like this would end up looking good and then for edges of course you could change this shape and just hold down shift while you're doing it it'll go much slower and you can create some very very nice slopes very interesting shapes and of course you can change the amount and bevels are pretty powerful so you can kind of get in there and do what you want now if you want all this reset and you want to go back to normal just click on one of these presets it'll reset angle segments amount back to sharp and everything everything's automatically reset so if I come over here you know you can change and of course the shape is not going to be reset so you may want to bring that back up but other than that you can everything else goes back to normal and you can increase that um, that size and that will create some very nice beveled edges as well. That looks pretty good. Kind of tidy it up a little bit. And you can go to vertices here if you wanted and kind of pinch all these corners. Yeah, so it's just dozens and dozens and dozens of options. It's all piled in uh, so you can kind of do whatever you want. And if you were gonna create some bullions some strange looking bullions here I'll grab this cutter and go into edge just grab this kind of bevel that out with quite a few segments I can shade auto smooth on that grab this object shade auto smooth and uh, go ahead and apply and delete my cutter and then I got this really neat shape and it's safe to go ahead and add a bevel to that so just go ahead and add a bevel and if I go with one, that's the lowest setting. And for this one, it's a little tight, so I'm just going to actually keep this one on edges. And then, of course, you can add your own bevels with Control-B and just really speed up the workflow. Anyhow, I appreciate you guys watching. This add-on is going to grow. Uh, it's not necessarily anything left to add to it except extra presets and maybe some custom profile settings but from this standpoint you can basically do anything so thanks for watching i appreciate if you're picking up the add-on and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial